Quicken 2015 is like most other Mac programs and you'll see keyboard shortcuts in the menu lists and you just tap those keys and it'll perform the action same as if you pulled down the menu. But there's some items such as let's say look at the reconcile account or hide and show accounts they don't have associated keyboard shortcuts and a lot of people ask how can I assign one for that? Well, within Quicken, you cannot, but a lot of users don't know that you can do this within your Mac OS system settings. Let's take a look at how to do that. Let's set up a simple keyboard shortcut. I know a lot of y'all ask for this one, and that will be for to reconcile an account. First thing you're going to want to do is go up to the menu item and note letter by letter how it is listed in this menu item. Here it's reconcile account and in this case it's three periods it's not the ellipses so in that case you just put the period 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 note what it's gonna be write it down and if you have to and then you want to go over to your Mac system preferences and go on to keyboard and choose shortcuts and app shortcuts from here it's pretty straightforward what you want to do is click on this plus sign and we've got an application pull down menu and we're going to just want to put this in quick in 2015 so let's pull that up there she is and then we're going to add the uh, what I told you to write down earlier and that's reconcile account and period 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 and here's the important step you gotta make sure that you're entering a keyboard shortcut that is no longer in use I wanted to do command shift R but when I checked it in the program that was already reserved to pull up the security list window you can start entering things and trying different things and see if it pulls up an actual command or if you hear a ding that means that keyboard shortcut isn't in use so I ended up having to go to option shift R that it automatically populates that field hit return to add and go over back to Quicken quit the program and relaunch it and now when I hit option shift R it'll pull up the reconcile window now I'm gonna close out of this reconcile window one thing I'd like to point out is if I go look at this menu item you will now see that that keyboard shortcut that I assigned is displayed in the menu for most of the items in here they already have assigned keyboard shortcuts for them but there's a few that you might let's say is like unmatch you might want to add a keyboard shortcut to that or print checks or in another case it may be just which column you can toggle to view for example I've already set up a keyboard shortcut to show and hide the match status column I like to show that every now and then and all I have to do is hit command shift M and I can just go back and forth and toggle and not have to go through all those menus. Keep in mind what I showed you can apply to pretty much all Mac applications so feel free to try to add keyboard shortcuts to some other programs that you might have some feature that you want. I hope this helps and good luck.